Hi, I'm Jilly Bean Fitzhenry, and I'm going to show you a little watercolor design that I did using the new Water Lily brushes by Dynasty. Absolutely love this brush. This is a number six round that I use, but just depending on the size of the watercolor paper you're working on, you can go up or down in sizes. Uh, but here is a little stylized rose that I did all using just that one brush. So take a look, I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to start this little design using my Water Lily brushes by Dynasty. Absolutely love these little, little things. Um, beautiful handles. I just can't get over how pretty the handle is. So let's see. I'm just going to do a little stylized greeting card here. I'll start out with the round brush. And I'm just using some cake um, watercolors here, just some inexpensive ones just to play with. And I'm going to start with a rose. So I'm going to start with a light pink. And this is just a stylized, just quick and easy, so lots of water. Okay, and I'm going to start the shape somewhere in the middle of my piece here. So I'm just going to make some strokes going around each other kind of filling in a little stylized circle with a light pink color. And it comes out different every time you do it, so you just got to kind of wing it sometimes and make these outer ones a little bit fatter. And I don't have them all the same, they're all just a little bit different. Okay, then I'm going to let that dry just a little bit before I go back in. So let's go next to, I'm going to do kind of an S shape with my design. So I'm going to determine where that is going to come out. So I start with, by the rose here, and I'm just going to pull a thin line. See how nice and thin I can get that line with the tip of this brush. So, and then it's going to come up through, and I'll curve it off to the other direction for the other half. Okay, and I'm going to make some leaves coming out of the bottom here. And I'll maybe leave just a little bit of a break between the leaves, pushing down and then lifting up. And I'll get smaller as I come out towards the tip. A little bit smaller. And then for the final ones, I'm not going to leave any kind of break. It's just going to be smaller little petals. Or little leaves, I should say. Smaller little strokes. So I'll have the bottom. And I'll come back and add some more color on those. I'm going to just connect those into the stem now. If any of them are just kind of floating out there by themselves. Okay, and as long as I've got the green, let's add some up on the top here too. I'll make a little fatter one. And then maybe a little thinner one on the other side. Okay, and then I'm just going to have the impression of some little delicate pointy or little kind of pointy and rounded little leaves coming out from there. Maybe another little section here. Okay, and I'll leave that as is for now. I just kind of let it grow through as I look at it. Let's go back to the rose. I want to get some darker in the middle, so I'm going to go to a darker pink. Using a lot of water. And I'm going to get kind of a darker circle. And I'm not trying to hit directly on top of the previous lines. I just want to get a little bit darker center. And then I want a medium color uh, to go after that. So let's do, well here's a little brighter pink. Let's try that. Because we used a real pale one to start with. 
Let's see what that looks like. I can always put another wash of another color on. Yeah, that shows up nice. There again, just kind of, it's just kind of an impression of a rose. It's not a realistic. Might go over the darker ones just a little bit, get those to blend in a little more. And then while I've got that color on, let's go back to some of that brighter, kind of mix a little bit of both and get a little bit of a in-between color here. Kind of tuck it in. And I think I'll just leave that as is. I might add a little touch of yellow into it later if I decide. Then I'm just going to make some little stylized flowers coming out from there. I'll use some purple and just making some little spikes. A little purple there, maybe another little one coming out down in the bottom. Rinse my brush and I'll attach that with some green, but let's switch to a different color green. Let's get a little more turquoisey this time. I love playing with color. It's just fun to experiment and I'll pull a little line in there. Okay, and let's see, let's add some maybe some yellow flowers in there next. I'll start with a pale yellow. I just keep filling in the empty spot, so I never quite know what it's going to look like. I, I could draw it out if I wanted to with a pencil, but I'd want to get rid of most of those markings. So let's start with a little sideways yellow petal here, and I'll get some darker yellow in there after. There again, just a little stylized. I couldn't even tell you what the name of the flower was. Just something fun and different. Let's maybe get a little bit of a, a bud going up there. Okay, now I want to pull some yellow down here, but let's do a little bit different. Let's do a little more rounded. There again, just stylized. I'm just kind of dabbing that in. And I probably want to get a little more uh, pink in there somewhere too. I'm just not sure where yet. I'll let it kind of come along as it goes. I'll attach the yellow flowers into the design. Everything pulling towards the rose. Just little dabs. I think I want some more purple right in that empty spot here. And there again, that was the turquoisey green. Just kind of tap that in. Okay, so now I'm going to use actually some of that um, turquoisey green to actually add into the bottom of these bigger leaves here. Just kind of dab that in, rinse my brush, kind of blot it off, and then just let that blend into the lighter green color. Put it in the other one. Let's see, I could probably even just tap my brush on the paper towel and not rinse it. Let's see, depends on how much paint I have on my brush. That worked, okay. Let's add some more in the bottom of these other leaves. Wipe it off on the towel, just kind of take a little drier brush to get it to blend. And I want to do each one as I go because I just don't want it to dry too fast and then not be able to to blend it. Now if I got these littler ones I can probably get by. But bigger ones you want to try and do them one at a time. Let's see if I could just tap some excess into these last little ones. They don't need quite as much. 
Okay, all right. And let's get some on the ones on top here too. Just get it in the bottom. This time I'll rinse it a little bit and just kind of add some water right where I left off so they kind of melt into the other green. And there again, this is just a stylized little design. Just kind of fun. I just love color, so it's just fun to play with the different colors. Okay, I'll get a little bit uh, brighter yellow now and go back in and add some of this into the yellow flowers. Now you may choose to blend that or just leave it as is. That's up to you. I'm going to blend just a little bit, add a little bit of water. And I think I'm even going to add just a touch of orange in the bottom of those as well. Just dab it in just a little bit. Come back with just a wet brush, let it kind of spread. Just to perk it up just a little bit. That, yep, I like that better. A little, little more color in there. So I'll start with the darker yellow first. And these I was making a little bit different, so I'm going to kind of make like a, a center in them. So instead of shading the bottom like the other side, I'm just going to fill in some little circles. Let's get some orange in there too. Kind of tap that in. Just to create a little bit different looking flower on that side. Okay, I'll get those attached into the design a little bit better. Okay, so I think I'm going to do up here is where I'm going to add the bud for my flower. Let's go ahead and just start with the darker pink. Let's see what happens. Uh, now I'm going to change my mind. Let's start the, the color that was kind of in the middle. Let's use that because I want to do a darker center for the, for the bud. Okay, so and maybe I'll make two buds. Just tuck in, just tuck in a little bit there. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Let's maybe get another bud coming in down here. I've got an empty spot here. So I can get another one over there. And let's maybe even pull some pink down here just to get that pink to distribute a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the darker pink and just add kind of a circle in the middle of each of the buds. And let's get those attached. Little bud cups, pull some thin lines. And if it's still really wet, be careful because when you mix green and pink, it can turn brown, so just be a little bit careful as you're working with it. I want to get a little more yellow in that bottom of those yellow ones. Just kind of tap that in. And there we have it. Little stylized rose design all with one brush. And that's the Water Lily by Dynasty.